Hi there, so this is going to be a quick haul video. Again, I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm bulk recording these videos and I have had my fringe just cut in between very quickly, so at least there's some change. Anyway, I'm going to crash on. So we have, the first thing I got was a Revlon Photo Ready uh, Cream Blush in Pinched and it comes in a box like this. And if I just quickly pop it out, you can sort of see it's a beautiful peachy kind of colour. And there doesn't initially seem to be loads of payoff. However, this is quite a buildable colour. It's very creamy and very smooth. And that's the swatch of it there. You can sort of see. It's decided to be incredibly blindingly sunny. You know those winter days where it's just full on white in your eyes. So forgive the lighting. I'm trying not to sit back. I keep getting blinded, but hopefully the lighting is okay for you guys. Maybe. I apologize. It's just a haul video. So anyway, not going to worry too much about it. I've got three lipsticks here. I picked up. It's the new lipsticks from Sleek. And I just love the containers for these, never mind anything else. I got two matte ones and one sheen one. So if I just hold up the come little box like this. The first one I got, the first matte colour that I got is plush. Now check out how cute is the container for these. So it's a matte black rubbery feeling sort of tube. And it's got the sleek logo across the top. And it's oval shaped. So this is plush. And that's a quick swatch. You can see it's a real vibrant pink. I probably wear this more in the spring. I just fell in love with the colour in the shop and I thought, why not? Next is another matte colour. And this is an exaggerate. Now this is probably going to scare people because it's purple. <laughs> it is definitely purple. Um, and if I just swatch it. That's it there. It doesn't swatch overly purple, but it's more of a lilac-y kind of purple. It looks quite vibrant there. But it is it's definitely a sort of, if I turn my hand, it's a lilac-y kind of purple. But I thought this would be beautiful under uh, a lovely lip gloss, as I said, in the spring and things. You know, it's all starting to come in now. So that's that was exaggerate. And then the final one I got is in Smother. And this is a Sheen lipstick. So that's Smother. That's super creamy and super, super gorgeous. And it's that colour up there. Now it's kind of a raspberry red. Um... You know, it's more of a vibrant, sort of pinky, raspberry colour. Now, you may have seen recently, I've done quite a few hauls recently and I have had lip products in them. However, I'm really pernickety and I will not buy a dupe of a colour or I already own. I will get different tones and different finishes, um, but I will never buy, oh, I've got that colour, but I'll just buy a cheaper version. I don't do that. I don't see the point. But, um, yeah, so these are colours I don't own, just in case you're going, God, she's buying an awful lot of stuff. And those other things were with vouchers and everything else. So this is the first thing I've actually bought, bought in a while. Next, I picked up some... Sorry, just have a little ramble there in the minute. In the middle. Next, I have some Rouge, Rouge Edition lipsticks from Bourjois. I think these are new ones as well. Check me out being like on trend or something. Buying new, new products. So the first one I have, these don't have names that I could see. Oh, I completely lie. They totally do. This one is Pretty Prune, and it's number 14. You'll see the 14 before you see the name. And this is this is the colour. This is just like a lovely red. So that's it. This is a uh, sheen, and it's a deeper, richer colour compared to the colour from Sleek, which is that one. So you can sort of see they're along the same sort of idea. Of course, they're showing up the same on the video. But that's definitely much darker pink than that is. Much darker. There is a noticeable difference in the flesh. The second one I got from Bourgeois. It is Beige Trench. 
number two. Now, when I initially looked at this in the tube, wasn't bothered at all. And then I rubbed a bit onto my finger and rubbed it onto my lips. And it's a beautiful greyish sort of taupe. It has a grey sort of undertone to it. And it's a real pale pink. And I think I finally found a nude that I can wear. So that's it there. You can sort of see it definitely has a greyish tone to it. Maybe if I turn my arm a bit more. So yeah, that's a nude, definitely lovely, lovely nude. And it's something I think I can wear. I've always had issues with nudes. They always look a bit... They make me look ill, basically. Now, I picked up a few of the new Rimmel Apocalypse as well. And these are just so lovely and creamy. The first one I have, it's 101 and it's Celestial. So that's what look, the tube looks like. It's kind of a pale pinky peach. I just open it. Now, I love the wee doe foot applicator with these because it's got a, a well in the middle, if you can see bit of a well there in the middle that actually holds the colour. This is These are lip lacquers. So that's the swatch there. And that's Celestial. You can see it's quite a muted pink but with a real richness of tone to it. You know, there, that's a better view of it there than where the light's shining on it. That's more the true colour of it. Do you see now what I mean about the white light? Do you see how white my hand was? The next one I have is 301 Galaxy, and that's like the tube, you can sort of see the colour in the end. I like the tubes, I like the the, um, the handle specifically because it's got edges on it so it's easy to grip and open. And I, look, I like the look of the tubes as well, quite nice, aesthetically pleasing. So that's Celestial, just up here, and it's beautiful. They feel really creamy and really, really rich. I'm interested to see how long they last on the lips and whether they don't feel sticky as such. It's the last product I have and it's Luna. And as you can see, this is a real peachy tone color. And that's it there, you can see it's real orangey peach. It looks quite harsh in that light actually because, well, as I said, it's got a real, there's real white light going on, but it's a lovely, lovely peachy colour. Just got that on my finger. I will be reviewing them as I get to use them. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too much. They, they weren't too expensive. The sleek lipsticks were $4.99. The Rouge Edition lipsticks, I it was buy one, get the second half off. And I think they're $7.99. And the Rimmel Apocalypse, I bought those three for two. Um, and the Revlon Photo Ready. It was still on offer um, for in boots. I think I got two pound off on that. So yeah, I did get discount on all of these, so I didn't spend too much. So I also picked up a few dotting tools on Amazon. Um, I'm gonna try and hold this so you can sort of see the ends. Now I got these for about two or three pounds, and. Yeah, I think 350 that was including the postage and packaging. So, I, as you, as some of you know on Instagram, I am a massive fan of nail varnish and everything else. So, I've been looking forward to trying these out as well. And yeah, I think that's everything. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like if you like. Please subscribe if you like. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.